demon timing as usual. Fellas, I know you don't have any game, all right? And I tell you constantly all the time that self-improvement is a number one step to game. But today we're going to be going over the remaining steps, the small things that you do when you approach a woman and the small things that you say when you approach a woman, okay? Because I understand that a lot of y'all, you know what I mean? You got the broad sense of what to do around a woman. I know you have a broad sense of how, of what women are attracted to and how to attract women, how to get their attention, but you don't know what to do when it's actually crunch time. What do you do when you're actually getting these chooser signals? Now, the first thing that you need to understand about spitting game, fellas, is that you should never expect a woman to come up to you. Never expect her to step down on you. And here's why. Because the majority of women, nine times out of ten, they're not going to just come out and approach you straight up. They're just not. That's just not how, it's not how they operate. They're not going to just come up to you and ask for your number most of the time. The only time they'll do that is if they have extremely high interest in you. Extremely high interest. And now even when this happens, don't think, oh, you know what I mean? She's looking for, for or, or she wants me to be her boyfriend or uh, a long-term relationship or soulmates, whatever. When a woman shoots her shot at you or steps down on you, understand that that just means that physically you look like one of her better options, one of her better potential options. Understand that. But never rely on women going to approach you, bro. If anyone, I know, I know people like this. I know people like this. Where they'll be like, oh, I don't have to approach women. Women approach me. He's capping. He's capping. And if he isn't capping, then he probably hasn't dealt with a lot of women in his life because most of the time they're not going to approach him. You have to make the approach, fellas, if you want to be successful with women now let's get into it understand like i said earlier you have to get choosing signals you have to get choosing signals fellas they can be something as small as a look it can literally be a look she'll look at you for a couple of seconds and look away fellas you have to pick up on these you have to pick up on these it's very important because if you don't get the choosing signals chances are your approach is not going to go well but if you get them boom higher chance that your approach is going to go well you know what i mean she's already shown some sort of interest in you now understand that if you got a if you got choosing signals you have the look already you have the look already because she's been looking at you whatever but understand that you have to continue to execute this is where the confidence part comes in because everything is very very important when you're approaching a woman i'm talking about everything when you're walking to her that first those first few steps when you're walking towards her understand that those better be some confident steps she's watching that she's watching that if she's showing you choosing signals, right, and you making the approach while she's looking away, she sees you out the corner of her eye because if she's showing you choosing signals, she's interested. She sees you out the corner of your eye, bro. If you approach her, you know what I mean, you you take two steps, then you look back at your homies, you know what I mean? What should I say to her? What should I say to her? Bro, that's not, no, 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 no. That's not cutting it, bro. You already giving off nervous energy. That nervous energy is not going to get you anywhere, bro. Cut that out. Throw it out out the window. When you make your approach, walk over there confidently. You literally have nothing to lose, fellas. And this is where the part comes in like this understand that women is just it's just another human being right there understand that understand that that's why you got to stop I, I talk about this in my other videos a lot but you have to understand she's just another human being another person to talk to so you have to you have absolutely nothing to be worried about because you shouldn't be putting women above yourself you shouldn't be putting anybody above yourself at all so when you're making the approach you should be confident and cool now when you i know what you're thinking oh well i'm thinking about what to say in my head that's what you shouldn't be thinking so, 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 so hard, fellas. Okay, that's the thing. When you talk and understand that you need to develop your conversation and social skills, bro. You're not supposed to be planning out, okay, the conversation will go here and then here and then here. You shouldn't do that. You got to up your conversation skills, okay? For example, me, I'm a decent, I'm a pretty good conversationalist myself because I know when to hold converse, or know how, I know how to hold conversations. I know how to start conversations. And I know when to just shut up and stop talking and let them do the talking. I know how to end conversations. These are skills that you have to pick up on. But back to the approach, understand that those first few steps while you're walking towards her, you need to look confident. Your body language is extremely, extremely important, right? If you look over, if you uh, walk over there looking like, shoulders shoulders all tense you know what i mean you it's not gonna work nine times out of ten she's gonna be nah he don't even have confidence confidence is the number one thing that women are attracted to these days man so when you make the approach understand that you can keep it simple you don't have to hit her with no pickup line oh oh whatever i thought you were so beautiful roses red violets are blue you don't have to do all that bro you can keep it simple hi my name is so and so i'd like to introduce myself what's your name she gives you her name keep it real simple dog you can say something next like Okay, you want to get her number or no, you don't want to get her number. That's another tip. You want to give her yours, right? Because when you give her your number, now she got to text you first. 
Now she got to text you first. Oh, but Kim, uh, uh, what if she just don't text me? If she don't text you, then she don't text you. If she don't text you, then her interest level ain't that high. Her interest level ain't that high then. Why would you even want to mess with, you know what I'm saying? You can go either way, but I recommend that you give her your number. You give her your Instagram, your Snapchat. So that way she has to hit you up first, right? Or at least make some sort of effort to seek you out, hit you up some way, right? Because if you get her number, understand that guys are constantly, constantly getting... There, She probably got a lot of dudes she gave her number to. How many is she responding to? One. Max. Max. And how long is she holding a conversation with them? You know what I'm saying? You got to be different. You got to give her your number. Give her your credentials and stuff like that. Especially if you are popping on some sort of social media platform. Okay, for example, um, me, my Instagram. I have 10,000 followers. The average guy does not have no 10,000 followers. I'm not saying that's a huge amount, but that's something that's definitely eye-catching. The average person will look at that and be like, oh, okay, he at least does a little bit of something. You see what I mean? So play to your strength. Play to your advantages, okay? Give her your number instead of taking hers down. So... As you're talking, right, you give her your number, pay attention to how she is acting, pay attention to her body language. When you don't pay attention to her body language, that's when your conversation skills go out the window. Body language is a huge part. Body language is just as, part, as, as important as what you're actually saying. Why? Because if you are not holding body a uh, good, confident, strong, masculine body and uh, body language yourself, Understand that you're not going to be taken as serious. If you're sitting over here like this or with your arms folded, looking kind of closed off, kind of facing away from her, you're not making good eye contact, she cannot take you serious. She can't take you serious. How is she supposed to take someone serious when you can't even look her in the eye? If you can't even look her in the eye, bro, she's going to dismiss you. Pay attention to her body language as well. How is she responding uh, 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 body language wise? How is she acting? Okay, is she facing towards you or is she facing away from you? Is she making eye contact with you? Okay, is she when she's around her homegirls, she looking at her homegirls? Because sometimes they do that with men that they don't really like. They look at their homegirls and be like, help me get out of this situation. You have to pay attention to what her body language looks like. You know what I mean? Because understand that choosing signals is not a 100% uh, uh, guarantee that she's going to be interested in you. It's just more of a guarantee than a cold approach. So sometimes she's not going to be interested in you. Pay attention to that body language, bro. Pay attention to it. Also, pay attention to how she responds. When you're carrying on this conversation, understand that... You can literally talk about anything. You can talk about anything in the world. It's not what you say. It's how you say things. All right. If you're saying things with a with a with a with a weak in a weak tone, you know what I mean. You kind of you kind of quiet. Blah 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 blah. That's sensing that you either don't really know how to hold a conversation, or you're nervous, or stuff like that. Basically, it's showing that you do not. Have the confidence to go up to a woman and spit game. She doesn't like guys with no game. She don't like guys that can't be confident in themselves. Speak clearly, loud enough so that she can hear. You feel me? Speak confidently. Try your best not to study over your words. I know sometimes that's a that's a little bit of a struggle, but you know what I mean? Speak clearly and confidently and you'll be all right. And literally, you could talk about anything. You could talk about... I don't, I don't know, bro. You can talk about your favorite restaurants, uh, the type of shoes she got on, um, uh, uh, her dress. I don't know. Be observant. Don't talk about anything. And pay attention to how she's responding, right? If she's responding in a way that's like, oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Bro, clip the conversation. Clip the conversation. If she's responding in a good way and she's adding some sort of uh, uh, value or some sort of uh, feedback into the conversation, then... It's going well for you, but make sure, above all, that you do not let these conversations go on for too long. If you let these conversations go on for too long, understand that it's going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to show desperation and thirstiness. If you're sitting there trying to hold a conversation for a long time, it's going to come across as... Wow, he really want, he want me too much. He want me too, too much. He he must be desperate. No one else want him. He ain't talking to nobody else. You cannot be holding these conversations for too long. You want to keep them quick. You know what I mean? You want to keep them short, simple. You don't have to make it super, super, super quick. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you're not going on for too long. Understand that. Nobody wants to be sitting here talking to you the whole time. And let me explain uh, further on that. Because most of the time when you're stepping down on a woman, right, where you at? You at school. You at work. You're out in public on the sidewalk. Maybe you're at a party, at a club, whatever. Understand that all these places, you don't have the time to just be sitting there talking for a whole long time. Even at a party or a club, understand that you're there to have fun and turn up. You're there to have fun and turn up. So, yeah, it's cool that you're talking to her, okay? But understand that your homies is back there waiting for you. They're looking for you. Realize that. She got her homegirls. She's there with her homegirls. She's going to go uh, turn up with her homegirls, whatever. That's not your girl. That's not your wife. 
get in there, get her contact information, have a quick little combo, whatever, set up a date later. It's simple as that, fellas. Simple as that. You never want to have the conversation going on for too long. That is detrimental. You do not want that to happen, fellas. You do not want that to happen. So, another thing that you need to watch out for, fellas, is knowing how the conversation is going. Like I was talking about earlier, how you need to get your conversation skills up. You need to. You need to realize that it's not all about yourself. You have to be a selfless conversationalist. Listen to actually what she's saying. If you listen to what she's saying, you will know exactly what to talk about. You'll never run out of things to talk about if you're hearing what she's saying. She will give you clues. She'll tell you what she likes. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is ask questions, respond to those questions, give a little bit of your own input. It's that simple. Understand that talking about yourself the whole time is not going to impress her. Okay, understand that going up to her and be like, oh, yeah, I'm a D1 athlete and then this and this and this and this and this. You're telling her all the everything, trying to impress her. That's not going to impress her, dog. You're talking too much. That's not how people work. That's not how conversations are supposed to work. Okay, if you keep talking about yourself too much, you're not even giving her a chance to talk. All right, that's a turn off for a lot of people. You can't just be talking the whole time. You need to know when to just shut up. Because, see, most of the time, you can be talking. What guys will do, they'll be talking to a female and she'll be interested. But then he'll keep it going too long or he'll keep just talking about himself over and over and over and he won't know how to just shut up and just listen sometimes. That's what you have to do. Fellas, understand that I've I seen this a long time ago, even before I was on the red pill stuff. 80% uh, uh, of seduction is just listening. If all you if you just listen to what she has to say, conversations come easy. Uh, uh, holding that tension becomes easy. And now that's, a, that's another thing. This is going to be the last point too uh, of the video. Holding tension. Holding tension is very, very important. Okay, this goes with how you say things. You don't want to. You don't want to go in there with a with a friendly vibe. You don't want to go in there with a friendly vibe. You know what I mean? Y'all, it's kind of hard for me to explain. But you don't want to go in there with the with the intentions of her of trying to be her her best friend or whatever like that. Understand that you have to hold masculine frame. That's where masculine frame comes in, right? You know what I mean? Eye contact, strong body language, stuff like that. You know what I mean? You're not coming in there being all goofy and friendly because that's just going to give off the wrong vibe. She's not going to be able to take you uh, serious in the way that you wanted to take her, dog. She's not going to. That's very, very important. So that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I believe I hit every single point I needed to hit. If there's anything I missed, comment down below and I'll try to respond to it uh, in the next video or in the next one of these game videos. I'm going to tell y'all what's going, uh, uh, what you need to do after you get her number or after you give her your number and how you should be texting her afterwards how to set up the link how to set up the first date and we're gonna keep it moving from there man so i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and like every video i love you and i'm out of here man peace